Today is March 14th. Today's quote is entitled, Why does humility enable one to chant constantly? That's a good question. You've probably thought about that. Mahaprabhu says, if you're humble, then you can chant constantly. What's the relationship between humility and constant chanting? A devotee feels that if he doesn't get Krishna's mercy, he has no hope. If we always feel this way, we will always want to chant. Chanting means to tell Krishna that I cannot become successful in Krishna consciousness without you. I need your help. So the feeling of a devotee is, I need Krishna's help, I need Guru's help. I can't do this on my own. We talked about this before. Becoming Krishna conscious on my own is impossible. It's not going to happen. So a devotee very deeply feels his own lacking. He very deeply needs, uh, feels the need to be helped. And so he's always chanting because he always has the realization that he needs help. That's pretty simple, but sometimes we don't put two and two together. I always need help. So I won't know I always need help until I'm truly humble. And the mood of true humility is that mood of I need help. So when devotee becomes humble, he feels helpless without Krishna's help, always in need of Krishna's help, and therefore always chanting, because chanting is the way he asks for Krishna's help and the way he'll get Krishna's help. So he never stops chanting because he always realizes he'll, he'll, he needs help in the sense, especially for us, that without Krishna's help, how can we maintain our Krishna consciousness? Because material world is like we, we feel like it's falling down on us and it's, it's trying to push us down. So we feel the weight, the weight of Maya's gravity. But when we're Krishna conscious, we feel that that gravity is removed. So we're always, uh, obviously, we're always in need of that force that pushes through that gravity. And as we feel that, we always feel the need, I must chant, I must pray, I need to do these things, because that way I'll get Krishna's mercy. So that's just naturally how a devotee who has achieved some level of humility will feel. He won't feel that I can do it on my own. I'm smart, I'm capable, I'm advanced, I can do this. He'll always feel, I'm not smart enough, capable enough, or advanced enough to do this on my own. I always need help. I always seek help. I always pray for help. Simple.